This is a Lake Blue Corvette Stingray with a Z51 package and 2LT interior. The base model 1LT will start at $59,995. The 2LT will start at $67,295 and the 3LT at $71,945. The Z51 performance package will still be unchanged as a $5,000 option. So this is going to be kind of a thorough video so you can see how you'd interact with all the buttons, the dials, and all the features the new Corvette offers. I'm also going to show close-ups of the grills, and the engine, and all the compartments that I can get open. I'm going to show you everything there is to show about this Corvette, including the buttons on the sides of the seats. The best way to view this video is going to be from a 4K HDR TV or desktop, and I highly recommend manually adjusting the resolution so it only streams in 4K. This will be the most detailed video you'll find on YouTube. If you touch your fingers to the bottom, the trunk will go up well past your elbow. When talking with the test driver, I asked if the Z06 and ZR1 models are going to be supercharged, or if they'll get their additional power and possibly all-wheel drive from a hybrid or plug-in hybrid motor and battery. Of course he didn't give anything firm, but he said the possibility of having a turbocharged ZR1 with an electric motor in the front was being looked at. If the car has an electric motor, not only does it give it all-wheel drive, but it would also shift some more weight towards the front of the car and lower the center of gravity even more than it is now. He didn't give any specifics on the Z06, except that it may be launched a year and a half from now. None of this is firm because he does not know whether or not this was what General Motors decided upon. But it was very interesting to see that they were looking to putting an electric motor into the Corvette. A lot of people had concerns about water getting in through the hood scoops, but the test driver said that this has been thought of and will not be an issue. The Z51 packs 495 horsepower and 470 pound-feet of torque. The Z51 option will do 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds, but still no word on 0 to 60 times for the base version. Now I'll get a shot of the door handles. They are made of plastic, but they're really easy to feel under the door. Alright, let's do this. Once you sit in the Corvette, which is pretty low to the ground, it almost feels like it's an extension of your body. The seats are very comfortable, and surprisingly, visibility is much improved out of the front. The shifter buttons are made of aluminum and have a very solid feel to them. Hmm. iPhone XS Max. Oh, oh it fits. Look at that. It fits pretty snug in there, actually. Of course, you won't be left with much trunk space when the top is put away, but I really like how it just snaps into place. Tie racks here to secure your stuff. And with the top down, this Corvette looks even more exotic. The test driver said thousands of people have been in this car, so the light seats are kind of dirty, and unfortunately none of the center compartments open for me. But I can confirm that the center compartment has not only a USB port, but a USB-C port as well. And if you want to use Apple CarPlay, even a large phone will fit in the center console, and that's where you'd connect your phone to the car.
That latch near the floor is what you'd use to exit the car if the button on the door doesn't work. Just as a reminder, this is the 2LT interior. It's also interesting to note that the passenger side has memory seat controls as well. And you can program your key fobs to the memory seat settings. Oh yes, I love that. The buttons on the bottom of the bar control the passenger seat settings, and the buttons on the top half of the bar control the driver's seat settings. I think the interior is just as nice as the outside of the car. And the 2LT option is loaded with features. So if you're a tall guy, uh, the test driver that I was talking to said, just make sure that your head does not hit this piece here. If it does, these seats actually go down quite a bit. I'm going to take a look at the gap between the headrest and the roof there. I'm going to lower the seat all the way down. So if you're a tall guy like me, see just how far it will actually go. And so this is lowered to about, looks like it can lower about two inches or so. And now, actually have plenty of room. The side view mirrors have turn indicator lights. And the long white strip that runs across the top of the headlight is the yellow turn indicator for the headlights. This is part of the ground effects that you get with the Z51 performance package. And with the 2LT package, you have two cameras at the front of the car so you can see how close you're getting to a curb so that you don't scrape up your ground effects. Quick 
Oh, that's pretty deep. Some more baggage times. Them, like blow your thoughts off and you're not used to being on the race track, you know? Oh, yeah. One Z turns up. Oh, yeah. After 25 minutes, you get out of that car and. Good. I mean, well, here, this is this, 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 where a mid engine, you have it right behind you, so you get a, kind of a push. Uh -huh. and catch it up to you. Uh -huh. We're running the car, you've got the G force for you.
Yeah, looks like he may have some company. So, wow, that, that is a beautiful car. Uh, I was just really impressed with everything about it. I'm just such a big fan of that design and it looks even better in person than it does on camera. And unfortunately, you know, with YouTube compression and everything like that, trust me, it's special to see this car in person. I'm very excited for the future of Corvette. It's obviously very popular because there are a lot of people there. And yeah, I just can't wait.